One of the things we're really proud of in the whole Leap sensor product line, but especially in the complex sensors of strain and load cells, is the ability for this system to work right out of the box. No configuration in the field, it's ready to go. And let me literally demonstrate that. Here is uh, a Leap system that just arrived. We'll open it up and uh, fire it up. The first thing is our gateway. And I'm going to uh, plug that in first because it takes about two minutes for it to uh, come up and run. Uh, then we also have our leap sensor, leap strain sensor um, for load cells and uh, strain sensing. And we'll fire that up as soon as the gateway gets going. Um, in the box, we also have the power supply for the gateway, which I'm going to plug in. And then this particular LEAP system uh, uses a USB interface. Although LEAP systems can also run with uh, cellular connections and uh, Ethernet connections. So it's a very flexible system. Typically when we're doing early proof of concept testing, clients like to start with a USB connected to a personal computer so they can try the sensor and make sure it's going to work in their application before they buy more. So I've plugged it into the wall, and I've plugged it into uh, my laptop computer, and uh, we'll give it about two minutes to come up. Okay, now our gateway is up and running, and one of the really great things about the Leap system is it is all IP web-based, meaning there's no software to install on your computer. The user interface for this system actually resides in the gateway. The uh, user interface is accessible through any web browser, and we're going to demonstrate that right now. So in your user manual that comes with the system, there's a few simple instructions on how to get started. There's also a sheet that gives you your uh, login and password. Um, after watching this video and seeing how easy it is, you, you probably will never open this uh, other than looking for your password. So I'm going to go. And uh, now I'm going to enter um, the URL, and there is the uh, login. And I'm going to use my um, um, I'm going to use that my admin password, and I'm going to enter my password this time. and the system's logging in now. It's connecting to the software in the gateway. And uh, once that's up and going, um, we'll connect the sensors and, and we'll be up and running. Okay, there we have the uh, screen and there's my two strain sensors. I'm simply now gonna turn them on and it will take a few seconds for them to connect. And my system's up and running. There we go, uh, there's our first uh, reading. Uh, one of my strain sensors at the top here doesn't have a load cell connected to it, so it's going to read out of scale or real high value. Uh, this is the sensor that we'll be doing the test with and the demonstrations. Um, they're set up right now to transmit every 15 seconds, and uh, that's a pretty fast rate, but uh, you can change that very easily through the user interface. Now let me point out that this sensor is actually calibrated for uh, a span of 3,000 pounds. So um, it's pretty darn close to zero, not exactly, but uh, for a span of 3,000 pounds, um, that's a, a really good, uh, really close to zero. And just to do a little quick demonstration, I've got a weight here that I'm gonna put on the load cell and uh, get it to change its reading. There we go. Um, should say somewhere around five to six pounds, I believe, on this bottom sensor. We'll let it transmit one more time. Uh, it's transmitting every 15 seconds. And there we go, 7.2 pounds. There are other videos on our website um, on the Leap Sensor uh, product line explaining all of its powerful features. Uh, click at the top 
uh, under LEAP sensors, and we also have a wide range of off-the-shelf, ready-to-go LEAP sensors under our products page. Thanks for taking the time to watch and learn more about the LEAP load cell and strain sensor.